Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Shanghai American School Pudong Campus. My name is Ross Jones. I'm one of the band directors here at SAS Pudong, and behind me is an extraordinarily talented group of students from four international schools. Uh, Shanghai American School Pushi Campus, Concordia International School in Jinchao, the American International School of Guangzhou, and our own Shanghai American School Pudong Campus students. Please give them a big round of applause. They have prepared a fantastic program this evening. Uh, it is an interesting program, it's a diverse program. Uh, yesterday they played a little bit of it for a house full of about 400 elementary schoolers and they were enraptured. And if you can keep elementary schoolers enraptured for 40 minutes, you must be doing something right. So, they, um, they're, they're doing a wonderful job. Um, they've been putting up with us for the past three days as well. Uh, this year's festival runs this way. Uh, each of the conductors has chosen pieces for them to perform. Uh, so you will see a variety of conductors this evening, which is sort of rare for a festival like this. Uh, oftentimes, uh, these festivals are run by one conductor, a guest conductor. Uh, given it's very hard to find guest conductors and bring them into the country right now, um, the teachers have stepped up and they're conducting a selection of pieces. So they've, they've been lucky enough to work with a variety of conductors and some surprise conductors, and they've had uh, some pretty good experiences this week. So they've been an absolute pleasure to work with. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I'll introduce our first conductor. Uh, Miss Carolina Peck from SAS Pushi is going to come on and start us off with a concert march entitled On the Mall. Enjoy. <laughs>
Wonderful job. Uh, that was a very traditional concert march that you might find at the early part of the 20th century and maybe a bandstand at a park. Our next piece is entitled Dedicatory Overture. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with the musical form, an overture is sort of a, it's a mix of everything. It's a little, it's just a little bit of everything. So you're gonna hear a bunch of different musical styles. Uh, this is a very typical overture from 1950s band uh, composed by Clifton Williams and will be conducted by uh, Mr. Rob Chapman from Concordia International School. Please welcome Mr. Chapman.
So our next piece, uh, we had a, had a special guest this morning, and um, we were lucky enough, the next title of our next piece is called Halcyon Hearts. And Halcyon Hearts is a piece about love, but not Valentine's Day love. It's about things you're passionate about. And we had a special visitor this morning. We actually had the pleasure of talking with Kataj Copley, the, the composer of our piece. He's a graduate student at the University of Texas and is uh, composing absolutely wonderful works right now. And um, we chatted with him for about 10 minutes and he spoke to the students about this piece. He spoke to our young composers and uh, it was just an absolute pleasure to speak with him. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'll see you on hearts. Thank you. 
really, really beautiful piece of music. Our next piece, I am super excited to introduce. Um, we you have a very special opportunity here, and the students have had a very special opportunity uh, because their conductor is one of them. Uh, and this is extraordinarily rare. We were talking amongst the band directors the other day, and we, we've all worked with composers in, in a conducting capacity, but n not a student and not one who's been a part of our ensemble. So uh, this is sort of a double whammy for them. And so uh, I would love to introduce Matt Klein, who is a senior at SAS Pushy. And uh, geez, I think I met Matthew, uh, he was like in seventh grade, and he was like this tall. Now he's not. Um, uh, and he was just a really good trumpet player with a strong interest in music. And in the past, geez, five years, he has uh, become a published composer and an award-winning composer. So uh, this next piece is entitled? It's called Semper Incidendo, which is Latin for always moving forward. Yeah. And I think it's wonderful for these students to play a piece entitled Semper Incidendo. So uh, take it away, Matt.
wonderful job. Not only did he get them to play beautifully, he got them to bow together, which is something I've not mastered in 15 years of doing this job. Next piece, prepare yourself. It's a little weird. It took a lot of selling for these folks. Uh, it is entitled Tight Squeeze, and you're looking at uh, the picture here and you're wondering, what does a bird catching a fish have to do with Tight Squeeze? This piece is by a composer out of uh, Washington State. Uh, she lives in the, around the Puget Sound area. Her name is Alex Shapiro. And Alex Shapiro's hobby is writing music with electronics. And uh, I think very few of our students have had experience playing with electronics before. And the motivation for this piece is that Alex Shapiro is writing this piece. And she has a, a studio overlooking the Puget Sound. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And this, this bird flies up. And in this bird's mouth is a fish. And she thinks to herself, boy, that fish is really in a tight squeeze. Boom, song title. Okay, so uh, we have tight squeeze. Uh, this piece is a little different. Instead of these big, beautiful phrases like Matt is composed or like you've heard in some of the other pieces, it's composed of in what are called motives. Uh, and motives are just very short snippets of phrases. And these, rhythm, these motives are pretty rhythmi rhythmically complex. And as these students will tell you, they weren't a huge fan of them um, because it took a little, little putting together. So, uh, I have these headphones here. Uh, I was not listening to Beyonce. I, um, I'm actually, I have the, the track, the electric track in my ears, right? So, because uh, staying together is gonna be really important. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I can hear them and, and the electric track, and you're gonna hear the electric track and the band together. So you're gonna get the full experience. So, um, hold on, it's, it's interesting. You may decide you like it, you may decide maybe this is not for you. Um, we, I think we finally sold it to them. I think, I think they liked it. We did it with the track yesterday and a couple of them were like, huh, that's kind of cool. So uh, we'll, we'll see if we can sell it to you as well.
right, for our next piece, it is entitled Novo Linio, and will be conducted by Dr. Jeff Taylor from the American International School of Guangzhou. Dr. Woo! Taylor.
more piece to go. Uh, before we get to that piece, just a few thank yous. Uh, thank you for our tech crew. Uh, you're, you've been amazing. And uh, thank you for our students who've been also amazing. And thank you all for coming out. Uh, our host tonight has uh, been Mr. Hasak, uh, our head of APAC, and, and thank you for doing that as well. So we've got one more for you tonight. Uh, one of our favorite band pieces. Um, absolutely beautiful, composed by a composer that maybe we know. Um, J.S. Bach, so we'll end with a little Bach tonight. Let's give them another round of applause. We have had a wonderful three days celebrating APAC Band and APAC Theater starting this past Thursday. And this has been an incredible opportunity for us to take advantage of our lifted restrictions. And at the same time, it's been an opportunity to take advantage of what we've learned, as Ross Jones shared with us a little earlier, when these students had the opportunity to dialogue with one of their composers, uh, Katej Kofli. Am I, do I have that correct? Yeah, Katej Kofli. And they performed one of his pieces today, which was called Halcyon Hearts. And what's interesting about that, as Ross Jones told us, was that it is an ode to love. And it is about how love impact us, impacts us, especially when we find our passions. And that is what our students have been doing for the past three days, whether it is our APAC band or our APAC 
theater students. They have been finding their passions. And in addition, they have been living their dreams. And wasn't it exciting to watch one of our very own students, to see one of the seniors from SAS Pushi up here conducting his own award-winning composition? Let's give uh, Matt Klein another round of applause. <laughs> So this was a truly unique APAC experience. As I mentioned, we had two groups of students here with us this weekend. That doesn't normally happen. Our theater students performed earlier today, and then we had the opportunity to have the band here on stage with us now. And it takes a multitude of people to make performances like these happen. And first and foremost, I think it's important that we thank our students, your children, for the time that they have put in to take the risk to share their passions and perform for us, our APAC band students and our APAC theater students who are in the audience now. Thank you all. It's okay if you want to sit. I'm gonna talk for a little bit longer. <laughs> There has been a lot of energy around the school these past three days, and we have many people to thank for that energy, which has been incredibly contagious. I want to start with our band directors, and so if I can ask them to come to the stage from Concordia, please join me on stage, Rob Chapman. <laughs> Joining us from Guangzhou, we have Jeff Taylor. From SAS Pushi, please join us on stage, Carolina Peck. And the gentleman responsible for organizing this year's APAC band and our very own SAS Pudong band director, Mr. Ross Jones. I know these people are humble and they're gonna try to run off stage, but I'm gonna ask them to stay up while we invite the rest of our APAC leaders up to the stage. Earlier on today, we celebrated APAC theater and saw their performances over in the auditorium and we were able to formally thank our APAC theater directors as well as their workshop leaders. And I would like them to join us up here on stage so we can give them a round of applause as well, please. Thank you all for engaging our children, for engaging our students, for helping them pursue their passions and to live their dreams these past three days. Our children have something for you. You need to let them through. We also can't forget those who work behind the scenes to make these events happen. Thank you very much to our PAC theater team, Woo! Amox, Joe, and Hody. <laughs> our very humble PAC director, Ms. Lauren Bordenko, who has been working behind the scenes and with the students over the past three days. Our activities team has also been here, uh, Scott and Ava and Angela, and this is for them a two, a double weekend event because they just hosted our first APAC sport last weekend and now they've been here all weekend hosting 
theater and band students. So let's give them a round of applause as well. Our communications and tech team ensured that we were able to live stream both events today for those people who weren't able to make it here but still wanted to support our students. So we thank them for their support as well, as well as all the people in our Pudong logis logistics teams who ensured that we had transportation, food for our children, and that the setup and takedown happened so that they could be where they needed to be and had the resources that they needed. Uh, many, many, many great memories were made today that will be cherished for a lifetime. We are so excited to be able to host these kinds of events again, and we look forward to many more. Thank you all, and thank you to our audience, because without you, they would have no one to perform to. So thank you to you as well. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, Krista, for thanking all those people. But I think we do need to give one more round of applause to the talented 2023 APAC band. <laughs> There's a tradition at SAS Pudong that we do after every festival, um, performing arts festival. And we like to spend a bit of time just as our students and our directors, we like to spend a bit of time celebrating um, by ourselves. So I'll ask if parents might want to get up and leave, <laughs> and then we're going to have the students for around 15 minutes. You can wait outside, but thank you for coming. We appreciate you, you coming.